Hi guys and welcome back to today's prophetic word. We are on day nine of our Daniel wait if you're new to this channel. Um, basically what we're doing is we're sitting before the Lord for three weeks for 30 minutes three times a day up to an hour and a half um, each day and for the busy people they're doing 10 minutes 10 minutes and 10 minutes. Um, all right well let's jump into what we're feeling from the Lord for today. All right, this is kind of what I heard. I heard get in the ark. Mm, mm. There's protection in the ark. Mm, mm. Plan your ark. Your ark season is now. Mm. Whoo, hallelujah. Mm. The ark was a plan from God mm. that saved him. He's referring to Noah there. What will your plan from God do? Will you sit and listen or will you run around again? Allow my plans to develop and get the new blueprints. <laughs> Sorry, I just felt like that's the Lord just said to me. That's why you're wearing blue today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Push into them with Christ as you can do all things with him. He will show you the way. God provided for Noah amidst the storm. Mm. Mm. All right, I'm gonna. There's three different verses that I want to talk about today. Um, mm. One is this: the plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance. You know, when you think about this, it's like Noah. Who I feel the Holy Ghost. Noah planned as the Lord would have him. He planned with the Lord. Okay, they bought things, they put things together, they. It was an epic plan, an epic blueprint from the Lord, okay? And all that planning led to abundance. Sometimes you're not walking in abundance because you're not a good planner. And that might offend some of you, but that's what Proverbs says. The diligent plans lead to abundance. Um, now, I think the best plans come from God, but we even see companies that are not following God walk in abundance because they are proper planners. Sometimes the word of God can even work for people that are not saved, okay? And sometimes I think the church struggles with a lack of planning. Why do we struggle from that? Because we're so busy doing this thing, doing that thing, doing the next thing, doing this other thing, that we don't take time to sit with the Lord and really think about things. I was spending time with the Lord this morning and he was just kind of like downloading a plan to me for the next month and just kind of how it was going to look a little different than the way that I had planned and that the way I should be planning should be a little different. But I had to sit and allow him to develop the plan in my prayer time. If you're spending five minutes with God and then running out of the closet, you're not allowing his plans to develop and then you're frustrated and it's like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You don't know what you're supposed to do because you're not sitting with him long enough. Now, some of you might have got discouraged so far on the Daniel wait. You tried to spend time with the Lord this week, and the devil's just been trying to punch you in the face. And I just want to encourage you, you know, the Bible says his mercies are new each morning. Let's forget about that. Let's forget about, like, whatever has happened in the last several days. And let's just start again and say, today I'm going to spend time with God. Today I'm going to be before the Lord. And if you're watching this and it's late at night, then say, tomorrow I'm going to spend time with God. I'm going to make a commitment, okay? Hmm. Another thing is the Bible says, for I know the plans I have for you. And we all know that verse. Most people who are Christians know that verse. Whether you're Holy Spirit filled or just newly saved, you probably know that verse. Now, if you don't, welcome to that verse. But it's honestly like, I think it gets overused and not understood enough. You know, for I know the plans I have for you. Why do most people not walk in prosperity? and you know they stay in lack and debt and things like that it's because they don't know god's plans god has plans for them but they don't know him simply because they don't ask but yet it says in james you you can ask me for wisdom and i will give it to you so ask god his plans and he will give it to you especially you prophets before i do anything i tell my servants the prophets 
you know, and I know that we prophesy in part, we know in part, and you might not know every single thing, but you can know enough to move forward. You can know, oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. You could know enough to move ahead of your competition. I saw this business owner, you're a black woman um, in your 20s, and you had like um, curly hair, and I felt like the Lord is telling you, you're going to surpass your competitors if you will plan diligently with him in the next week. I just want to encourage you um, with that. I don't know who that's for, but you'll know if it's you. Um, hallelujah. Mm. Another thing it says that we are supposed to have an abundant life in Christ. So the plans of the diligent lead to abundance and Jesus died so that we could have abundant life. It's the same word there, abundance and abundance. Okay, and so, but how do we tap into that? Jesus died for you to have an abundant life, but are you tapping into it? If you're not, it might have to do with a lack of planning. Noah knew the plan of the Lord, he executed the plan of the Lord, and he became the new father of the earth. His family would now replenish the earth, okay? He was part of God's restart program. He was Basically, his family now dominated the earth because he tapped into God's plans and executed them. You know, I think sometimes we could just be running around doing ministry, doing all sorts of stuff. But when you sit, those plans get downloaded to you. And those plans are anointed plans. So, you know, other people, they, they might get plans, but it's not right it's not the good thing you know and they grew wealth too quickly but they didn't do it in god's way and the bible says that if you get it hastily that it will be gone okay and so i want to encourage you right now stay in the lord's plan do his plan and god will bring abundance and prosperity into your life hallelujah mm. And I'm not talking to you from someone who hasn't experienced this. You know, I used to be $22,000 in debt. Um, and I got out of it through the Lord's plan. He gave me plans to get out of debt. He told me to do certain things. And some of you know those things. But I just want to encourage you. You can get out of debt. I don't know why I feel the Lord is dropping that in my heart right now. It's like, don't think this mountain is too big. God can give you a plan and it might not be a plan you read in a book. It might be what the Holy Spirit tells you specifically. Sometimes it's that strange thing that gets you out of debt, okay? And I'm out of debt. We have been for years. And God has not only taught us how to get out of debt, but how to maintain being out of debt, okay? And, and using you know, credit to make money versus to owe money. You know, it's like we're in just a whole nother category than we were ever in before, okay? And so I want to encourage you that there's another side to this. You could be debt free. I've been debt free and I've learned to maintain that because, you know, sometimes people get debt free and then get back into it or whatever. But a lot of it has come through planning. A lot of it has come through diligence. A lot of it has come through spreadsheets, to be really honest with you. And um, a lot of it has come through looking at numbers, moving numbers around, changing numbers, sitting with the Lord, getting his plans, do, looking at it again, whatever. And um, it's a process. It's a process to get out of debt. It's a process to stay out of debt. It's a process to manage wealth. It's, um, it's a lot of work. And if you're not willing to do the work, you might not have that blessing from the Lord. And so I want to encourage you get before the Lord, get his plans in Jesus name, because the plans were Noah's safety. You know, it wasn't even just about abundance. It was about safety. The plans of God kept Noah safe. Hallelujah. And as you step into that destined plan for you from God, it will keep you safe. Mm. I just pray right now for planning to come on you in the name of Jesus, that a revelation of a plan will come on you in the name of Jesus, God, that you will see things in a different way, in a different light. And some of you, it's the plan for today. Some of you, it's planned for the week. And some of you, it's several years from now, but that that plan would just, your mind would just hone in and you would know exactly what you need to do in Jesus name. Mm. And if you want to come and plan with us, we do planning every year. Um, at the beginning of the year with PWW, Prophetic Women Worldwide, and we get focused and planned for the next year. 
Um, we're going to be doing that in January 9th um, in Orlando, Florida. And I'd love to see you guys come out there. You can check more about it um, on my website at Kanash Ministries. Just click on the event tab and you'll see all the information there and you can sign up there as you feel led. Um, I'd love to see you guys out there and plan with you. And I really want you to walk in abundance and prosperity um, this year and next year as well. All right, you guys, I love you. And I just pray in the name of Jesus that your plans are developed before him, mm, that the love of God comes on you and shows you how you could push your ministry forward, how you could push your business forward, how your family can come together, how your finances will come together and relationships in Jesus name. Mm. Mm, be blessed. All right, you guys, I'll see you next time uh, tomorrow on today's prophetic word. Bye guys.